Welcome to question 16 from the 2020 CTMUA paper 1. The question tells us that we have circle C1 with equation x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 3 and circle C2 with equation x minus 4 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 3. We also have L which is a straight line with positive gradient which is tangent to both circles and the acute angle between L and the x-axis x -axis, is called theta. We are then tasked with finding tan theta and we are given eight options. Pause the video and read through these options and have a go at answering the question for yourself. Okay, well let's begin by looking at the equations for the two circles. Uh, what information can we extract from these equations? Well, each equation tells us the centre and the radius of each of the circles. So uh, the equation for circle C1 tells us that it has centre at x equals minus 2, y equals 1, and has radius square root 3. Whereas circle C2 has, uh, uh, has centre uh, at x equals 4, y equals 1, and it also has radius square root 3. So let's begin by drawing a uh, set of axes with the point, these points mat, uh, marked, and we can therefore mark the centres of the two circles and then draw the circles in. So this is circle C1 and this is circle C2. Uh, and then L is a line with positive gradient, which is tangent to both circles. So that's going to have to look something like this. And L makes an angle theta with the x-axis, so this angle here is theta. Now, we know that uh, this line is tangent to both circles, so it just touches each circle. Um, and we can therefore draw on a radius in each circle, which is perpendicular to this line. So those radii have length square root 3. Uh, and we can draw the uh, symbol uh, here to show that these are both right angles. Um, now, we also know that both the centers of both of these circles uh, lie on uh, points which have y equals 1. Uh, so we can join up these two centers. Um, and by the symmetry of the situation, we can see that the line L will need to intersect this line halfway along. Uh, and this line goes from minus 2 to 4, so it has a length of 6. Uh, and therefore, it has a length 3 from here to here. Uh, so what is the x uh, coordinate of this point of interception? Well, it's going to be minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. So therefore, this is the point 1. And using alternate angles, we can see that this angle here is theta. So we therefore know uh, this length here is 3. This length here is square root 3. This is a right angle. And this angle here is theta. So we can draw a uh, copy of this triangle here with that information on it. Uh, and what we want to find is tan theta. So how can we find tan theta from this diagram? Well, um, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So how can we find this length here? Well, since this is a right angle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, and the square of this length will be the square of this length minus the square of this length. So 3 squared is 9, and square root 3 squared is 3. So 9 minus 3 is 6, so we can see this length is square root 6. So therefore, tan theta is opposite over adjacent, is square root 3 over square root 6. Uh, and if we divide the top of the bottom of the fraction by square root 3, we see this is just the same as 1 divided by square root 2. Now, if we look at our options, 1 divided by square root 2 isn't one of these options. However, option C is square root 2 over 2. And if we multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by square root of 2, we can see that we get root 2 over 2, which is exactly option C. So our answer is option C.